Yeah, thanks. Today, a York County paper mill fighting, fighting back against claims that it's hurting the health of nearby neighbors. This morning, New Indy is asking a South Carolina judge to dismiss claims it violated environmental laws. For years, WCNC Charlotte has covered the ongoing complaints of a rotten egg smell coming from that factory. Wake up, Charlotte's Richard Devane now live for us this morning. And Richard, New Indy is pushing back, says that, that they're already complying with EPA requirements at this point. Absolutely, Ben. Good morning to you. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Yeah, they're doing that. They say they've been complying, and they also say that's why they're taking this matter to court to get a judge to possibly dismiss these charges. Today, a U.S. District Judge in Columbia will hear a motion to dismiss a lawsuit against the paper mill New Indy Container Board. The suit claims the company violated the Clean Air Act. According to the EPA, the Clean Air Act is a law that regulates air emissions and the goal is to protect the public's health and welfare. Previously, WCNC Charlotte has highlighted a letter sent by the EPA to New Indy detailing a slew of potential violations. The suit claims New Indy is releasing dangerous chemicals into the Cantapa River, and that is the cause of headaches and damage to the liver, kidney, and nervous system of residents. Carrie Bishop lives near the New Indy plant and has been fighting this battle for years. She says she's expecting the judge to deny New Indy's request, but isn't sure. Um, I guess it will be interesting to see what, what New Indy's lawyers have to say, because I don't know what they have, I guess, is my concern. So do they have something? I mean, there has to be a reason why they're doing it, and I can't figure that out. Well, we could know a lot more about 10 o'clock this morning. Of course, we'll have someone there and listening to those motions and whatever's decided, we'll give them to you both here as well as online. We're right here in South Carolina. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.